welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about three ways to stay hydrated. For me personally, I know it can be a little daunting to keep drinking water all day, so here are just a couple of my tips to get that water down. First and foremost, you're going to need a water bottle. I love my clean canteen because um, it is durable, it's stainless steel, it doesn't give it that pingy taste that a lot of um, water bottles can give it, and obviously it's not plastic so it's good for the environment and it can handle a lot of wear and tear. Mine definitely has. Because I have a water bottle, I'm constantly refilling, I'm constantly drinking it because it's always around me. I'm not having to look for another glass to fill up. Number one is a water bottle. My second tip is my eight sip trick, it's kinda hard to say, but eight sip trick is basically if I'm waking up in the morning, you know you hear a lot of people talking about how they guzzle down a full water bottle in the morning, but sometimes that's daunting and that's hard to do. Sometimes I wake up and I don't feel like myself right away and so drinking a whole thing of water just kinda makes me feel nauseous. So when I wake up, I'll take eight sips, just eight sips. It doesn't have to be more, but at least I get eight sips. And that kinda triggers my body into thinking and remembering that I need to drink more water. So it kinda just wakes it up right away. I do eight sips before a meal. I don't do this all the time. I'm not perfect with it, but I try to if I'm making a meal, if I'm prepping a meal, then before I sit down and eat, I will take eight sips out of my water bottle. And again, it kinda just triggers the body to remember to to be hydrated before anything else. With the eight sip trick also, I like to do it before things that I do often, like, like a habit. If I'm in the car, I'll take eight sips before I get out of the car when I get to the location wherever I'm driving to. Whether I'm driving to the grocery store or whether I'm driving to go pick up Adam from his work, before I step out of my car, I will take eight sips of my water before I get out. It's just something I've taught myself to remember to do. And again, I'm not perfect with it, but I try. My third tip is to eat fruits and vegetables that are high in water. So if you have high water content in foods, you're gonna be staying more hydrated. So watermelon, obviously it's got water in the name. Watermelon is very hydrating. So if you're gonna be eating a sweet food or sweet fruit, Watermelon is totally the way to go if you're wanting to stay more hydrated. Same thing with vegetables, whatever's gonna be the most water content rich, packed with water, would be things like celery and cucumbers. They're very hydrating, it's a lot of water content. My bonus tip for staying hydrated is to get something on your phone that's going to remind you, either by setting up alarms or by getting an app such as Waterminder. I know Adam uses that one where he can log in how much water he has been drinking throughout the day and if he hasn't kind of met his quota, whatever he set as um, his goal, it will remind him, hey, you need to drink this much amount of water. You usually drink this much by this time. So I would check out Waterminder if that's something you're interested in. If you're somebody who checks your phone and listens to it, then it's something you might want to try out. So there you have it, guys. There's my three tips to staying hydrated, to get yourself a water bottle, try the eight zip trick, and lastly, eat more fruits and veggies that are high water. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and until next time!